It's round two now, and our experts have seven questions to choose from, ranging in difficulty from one to seven. But those $7 questions are really tough. Each expert will answer two questions, and they can either answer or push. But if they push and their opponent gets it right, their opponent gets the money. So you can't lose any money in this round, but if you play it smart, you'll keep your opponents from making much money. So Chris, you have the lowest score. We're going to start with you. Why don't you give a swipe? It's the $2 question, obviously one of the easier questions. You can either play it, Chris, in your category of Resident Evil, or you can pass it to Stephanie or Brad. Pass to Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, we go now to you. Your category is Glee, and this is your $2 question. What does the acronym NIADA, N-Y-A-D-A, or NIADA, stand for? NIADA is New York Academy of Dramatic Arts. Two dollars to you, Stephanie. Well done. That is correct. And we go to you now for the swipe. Okay. Oh my god, it's the seven dollar question. So Stephanie, you can answer the seven dollar question, which as you know is the most difficult question in your category, or you can pass it to either Brad or Chris. I'll pass it to Brad. Brad. Let's see if Wait, you what? can get the Glee Wait. question right. No, just no. <laughs> This is the hardest question in the category of Breaking Bad for round two, Brad. Siri, I'm going to need your help. Here, <laughs> Here we go. The opening credits repeatedly feature what chemical formula used for methamphetamine? Well, it's C something, H something, O something. So... C12H3602. It's C10H15N. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and swipe, Brad? Uh, you've answered, uh, or you tried to answer your $7 question. It's the $1 question now. You can answer this one, it would be the easiest on your board, or you could give it to Stephanie or to Chris. Who do I want to subvert? Are you looking at me? I passed this quest question to Chris. Oh, Chris, this is the first, Thanks so much. The, the first question you've answered in this category. It's the easiest question in round two. The category is Resident Evil. In the first game, after Barry saves Jill from a descending ceiling that would have crushed her, he tells her, you were almost a what? <laughs> a, a Jill sandwich. A Jill sandwich. That's worth a dollar, right? Dollar yeah. for a Jill sandwich. Go ahead and swipe now, why don't you? Not anymore after inflation. Four dollars, right up the middle. Let's nominate Brad then. Brad, okay. This <laughs> Brad, what is the last name of Hank's assassins, the cousins? Uh, it's the same as Tio's last name. Um, Lecuona. It's Salamanca. That's it. Salamanca, yeah, <laughs> but I had it in front of me, so. Uh, Stephanie, why don't you go ahead? Remember, Brad can't answer another question. You'll either answer this $6 question yourself or pass it to Chris. I'll pass it to Chris. Passing it to Chris. So, Chris, the second question you'll answer this round. What 2001 game was originally planned as an installment in the Resident Evil franchise, but was developed as its own property and has spawned four sequels of its own? Six dollar question. I think it was Devil May Cry. I think you're right. I think your opponents may cry. Well done. Six dollars to you. And we move now to the swipe from Brad. This question will go to Stephanie. Yes. Having no choice, I pass the question to you. It's the three dollar question in the category of Glee, Stephanie. The question is, what character is played by a three-time All-American in the shot put? Uh, Coach Beast. Coach Beast is good for $3. Well done. And we will come back after this. We have an amazingly close game from the experts.